Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the Indian economy. The Indian economy has transitioned from a mixed planned economy to a mixed middle income developing social market economy with notable state participation in strategic sectors. It is the world's fifth largest economy by nominal GDP and the third largest by purchasing power parity. According to the International Monetary Fund, on a per capita income basis, India ranked 139th by GDP and 127th by GDP. From independence in 1947 until 1991, successive governments followed Soviet-style planned economy and promoted protectionist economic policies, with extensive state intervention and economic regulation. This is characterized as derisism, in the form of the License Raj. The end of the Cold War and an acute balance of payments crisis in 1991 led to the adoption of a broad economic liberalization in India. Since the start of the 21st century, annual average GDP growth has been 6% to 7%. The economy of the Indian subcontinent was the largest in the world for most of recorded history up until the onset of colonialism in the early 19th century. India accounts for 7.2% of the global economy in 2022 in PPP terms, and around 3.4% in nominal terms in 2022. India still has informal domestic economies, COVID-19 reversed both economic growth and poverty reduction, credit access weaknesses contributed to lower private consumption and inflation, and new social and infrastructure equity efforts. Economic growth slowed down in 2017 due to the shocks of demonetization in 2016 and the introduction of the goods and services tax in 2017. Nearly 70% of India's GDP is driven by domestic consumption. The country remains the world's sixth largest consumer market. Apart from private consumption, India's GDP is also fueled by government spending, investments, and exports. In 2022, India was the world's sixth largest importer and the ninth largest exporter. India has been a member of the World Trade Organization since January 1, 1995. It ranks 63rd on the Ease of Doing Business Index and 68th on the Global Competitiveness Report. Due to extreme rupee dollar rate fluctuations India's nominal GDP too fluctuates significantly. With 476 million workers, the Indian labor force is the world's second largest. India has one of the world's highest numbers of billionaires and extreme income inequality. Because of several exemptions, barely 2% of Indians pay income taxes. During the 2008 global financial crisis, the economy faced a mild slowdown. India endorsed Keynesian policy and initiated stimulus measures to boost growth and generate demand. In subsequent years, economic growth revived. According to the World Bank, to achieve sustainable economic development, India must focus on public sector reform, infrastructure, agricultural and rural development, removal of land and labor regulations, financial inclusion, spurring private investment and exports, education, and public health. Over 66 million Indians are categorized as middle class, and just 16 million are upper middle class, according to a 2021 Pew Research Center survey. In 2022, India's 10 largest trading partners were the United States, China, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Russia, Germany, Hong Kong, Indonesia, South Korea, and Malaysia. In 2021-22, the foreign direct investment in India was $82 billion. The leading sectors for FDI inflows were the service sector, the computer industry, and the telecom industry. India has free trade agreements with several nations, including ASEAN, SAFTA, Mercosur, South Korea, Japan, Australia, UAE, and several others which are in effect or under negotiating stage. The service sector makes up more than 50% of GDP and remains the fastest growing sector, while the industrial sector and the agricultural sector employ a majority of the labor force. The Bombay Stock Exchange and National Stock Exchange are some of the world's largest stock exchanges by market capitalization. India is the world's sixth largest manufacturer, representing 2.6% of global manufacturing output. Nearly 65% of India's population is rural and contributes about 50% of India's GDP. It has the world's fifth largest foreign exchange reserves worth $561 billion. India has a high public debt with 83% of GDP, while its fiscal deficit stood at 6.4% of GDP. GDP. India faces high unemployment, rising income inequality, and a drop in aggregate demand. India's gross domestic savings rate stood at 29.3% of GDP in 2022. In recent years, independent economists and financial institutions have accused the government of manipulating various economic data, especially GDP growth. As of 2023, India's GDP growth rate would be 5.9% as per IMF calculations. Despite its rapid growth, the Indian economy faces several challenges. One of the most significant challenges is the high level of income inequality in the country. While the middle class is growing, there are still millions of people in India living in poverty. Another challenge is the country's infrastructure, 
which is often inadequate and in need of significant investment. This can make it difficult for businesses to operate and hinder economic growth. Finally, India faces challenges related to environmental sustainability. The country is one of the world's largest carbon emitters and has struggled to transition to cleaner energy sources. In conclusion, India's economy has come a long way in recent years, with significant growth and the potential to become one of the world's largest economies. However, the country still faces significant challenges that will need to be addressed to sustain its growth and ensure that all Indians can benefit from a growing economy. Thanks for watching, and hope you found this informative. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more more videos like this in the future. See you at the next one.